the hell are you, my friend? I'm not well. Oh dear, what's wrong? The, the, the drinks aren't free anymore. I, oh dear, I'm lost. we're really. We're, wow. I feel, I feel confused. Wow. <laughs> I'm discombobulated. Maybe we should do a list. Oh, okay. All right, okay. <laughs> well, I'm, I might as well kick it off. So we're okay. here. Uh, these are my. Uh, Three favourite watches of SIHH with a un piquito twist. Okay. Um, more accessibly priced pieces under, and this is a very big ish, yes. $10,000 Australian, roughly. Where are we starting? Over there, IWC. Um, How Adam, convenient. Yeah, exactly, it's like we planned it. IWC <laughs> had a really, really strong year, uh, really, really pilot focus, so there's top down and all sorts of stuff, but I liked the Spitfire Automatic, so a simple time only. Yeah. Do you know why I liked it? Uh, there's lots of reasons. It's a pretty good, good looking watch. Yeah, it is a very good looking watch. Yeah. One reason that's really, really cool is the entire Spitfire range is now 100% in house. Yeah. So it's got a really, really great new movement with 70 hours of power reserve. Mm -hmm. Comes on a cool fabric strap. Looks a business. What more do you need to know? I do need to know one more thing. What's that? What material? Uh, <laughs> bronze and steel. I'd probably go steel, to be honest. Yeah. The, because you know why I'm going steel? What? Because my next watch okay. is bronze. It's wow. uh, from Segway just, Goals. It, it, Segway Goals. It's, uh, it's from just around the corner. It's from uh, our good friends at Mont Blanc. Yep. Um, and it is the 1858 Geosphere. Yep. yep. The latest version of it. Yep. It's uh, in a beautiful bronze and green colour theme that's yep. sort of, um, you know. Naturey. Naturey, yeah, yeah. They're going with their spirit Adventure of exploration and they're, yep. they're hacking their way through the jungle. Yeah. Um, and look, it's still a great, really interesting take on a dual time, but I, I love the green. The green ceramic is really fresh. And there's lovely little, so the, the, the flanges and the, the day-night discs are really nice coppery pink, mm. which just adds a, a little a little something something for you. And like David Serato has been pimping this watch on his Instagram every day, and it's, it's winning me over. It's easy to see why, it's a lovely yeah. watch. <laughs> and so for my final watch, I'm gonna take a bit of a dive. Where do you think I'm going? Oh, somewhere. Submarine. Somewhere submarine. Yeah. I'm going to the wonderful world of Ulysses Nade. Mm. And it's not a watch they really presented, but we snuck our way to have a look at it. It's the new diver. And it's yeah. it's not an in-house movement, you know, full transparency there. But it just looks really cool. It's got a lovely handset, yeah. nice heavily notch notched bezel, comes on a Milanese strap. I think there's other bit options of as well. Yeah, it's a great watch. It's just yeah. a really solid thing that's a bit different from the usual, you know batch of divers. Great. We have thrown down, we're going to throw down our favourites and mm -hmm. we're asking you to do the same. But there's a little twist here. So just so the people know, top three under 10,000 Australian dollars ish. We're not going to blame you if you don't know the prices. I just touched Felix on the breast, on the chest. <laughs> I'll do that again. That's a HR issue right there. <laughs> Maybe we won't do it again. That is our time and tide lapel pin. It is a money can't buy item. We are going to give a time and tide lapel pin to the person with the most likes on the YouTube comment section for their three watches on July the 1st, 2019. What a day that will be. So let's recap that just, just in case you missed it. You say your three favorite watches under under 10K 10, in the comments below. Uh, upvote, upvote, upvote. One with the most upvotes gets a thing. Exactly. Think I may go. Great. Right.